Welcome to the weekly weather briefing for the Inland Northwest from the National Weather Service in Spokane. Weather conditions will be evolving this week. The passage of a dry cold front will bring locally breezy to windy conditions Tuesday, while the opportunity for showers and maybe some thunderstorms increases Thursday into the weekend. Temperatures will remain above normal much of the work week before values cool to below normal readings by the weekend. Here we have the big picture. Right now, the western U.S. is dominated by a ridge of high pressure with dry conditions. However, there are a few features over the Pacific. First, low pressure near the B.C. coast and its trailing cold front will move inland late tonight into Tuesday. The brunt of its precipitation potential will remain north of the Canadian border but it will bring some wind. I will show you more about that shortly. Meanwhile, a low near the Aleutians and a trough over the central Pacific will be migrating east through the week, eventually moving inland and leading to change. The incoming cold front will bring shower chances near the Cascade Crest late tonight and Tuesday morning. It could also generate a few sprinkles further east during Tuesday. However, precipitation is a small risk. Winds will be, main, be the main impact with the front. This image shows the sustained wind speed forecast. While precise timing may vary by an hour or two, the winds are expected to increase through the late morning and then decrease after sunset, with a peak between midday to mid-afternoon. The strongest will be in the Okanagan Valley and Ellensburg area. Afternoon relative humidity values will drop to the lower to mid-20s in the basin and lee of the Cascades, which may lead to some marginal concerns for the fire weather community. Areas that actually surpass critical wind and RH thresholds are expected to be spotty. However, unsecured objects and high-profile vehicles may be impacted, especially in the higher speed area. And, for those who may wonder, here is an image showing the possible wind gusts for Tuesday. Once again, the strongest are forecast to be near the Okanagan Valley and Ellensburg, where gusts in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range will be possible. By Thursday, things are expected to change a little bit. The next wave comes toward the region, but it will bring a limited shower threat, mainly to the eastern mountains. Winds are forecast to pick up slightly with gusts to 15 miles per hour or so. Between Friday and Sunday, and possibly as early as Thursday night, the pattern turns more active as the Pacific trough starts to move on shore. Smaller scale systems rounding that feature will interact with some moisture and instability to bring occasional shower chances. The best risk will be around the mountains and far eastern zones. Lowest chances will be found over the deeper Columbia Basin. Confidence in the timing of these individual features is low, so the details of coverage and timing will have to be fine-tuned as things come into better focus. With that said, expect to see some precipitation this period, especially in the highest risk areas. There is some threat of thunderstorms with this incoming trough, especially on Friday. There may also be some light snow accumulations in the backcountry in the higher Cascade Passes and Sherman Pass with snow levels dropping to be between five and 6,000 feet. In addition, the changing pattern will be accompanied by some breezy conditions, especially across the Columbia Basin. Early forecast numbers suggest five to 15 miles per hour with gusts to 25 miles per hour. The changing weather pattern will come with a change in temperatures. These images show select locations with the overall trend across the region. Above normal temperatures through most of the work week are replaced by below normal readings by the weekend. A look at the 8 to 14 day outlook indicates the Pacific Northwest is favored to see wetter and cooler than normal conditions. And it is possible that the start of this period, day 8, could be rather wet with a potentially robust system coming in. It is early so stay tuned. So summarizing the impacts, we will see some wind Tuesday. By a late week, the pattern turns showery and cooler with occasionally breezy conditions. It could be accompanied by some snow in the higher passes.